Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to create a new disk group or add new disk to existing disk group in ASM environment. Now the scenario here is, let's say your existing disk group is running out of space. So you want to extend the existing disk group. That's one scenario. Or you want to create a new disk group for setting fast recovery area or for creating new databases. I have given an example for FRA. You can use this new disk group for any other purpose. Now, these are the high level steps to add new disk to existing disk group. So in the back end, we need to provision new disk for the storage so that these disks are visible to the Unix server or the database server. Using the root, you'll create the disk partition using fdisk command. Then you will mark disk as ASM disk using Oracle ASM create disk command and that also has to be done by root. And then once these two steps are done, then you will log in as a grid and you will use the alter disk group command to add the disk to existing disk group. Now the steps to create the new disk group, the first three steps are exactly same. So you will create the, you will provision the new disk from the storage from the backend so that disks are visible. Then again, the root, you will use the root to create the disk partition using fdisk command. Then you will use the Oracle ASM create disk command to mark the disk as ASM disk. And then in the using the grid, you will use the create disk group. So to create a new disk group, you will use create disk group. To add the disk to existing disk group, you will use alter disk group. Now, now that we have seen all the steps, let's go ahead and connect to our server. Now, here the thing is before I do anything, let me show you how my environment is set up. So, so no, I don't want it to log in as an Oracle user. So let, I have already logged in as an Oracle. So let's do sudo su as grid user. Let's set the environmental variable. That's done. Let's connect to, let's connect as SQL plus as sysASM. Let's, let's see how our ASM disk is aligned. So I'm running a query on V$ ASM disk group. And you can see that I got this ASM data one, which is of 40 GB. Now, although it is not running out of space, think that it is running out of space and you want to extend this, this particular disk group. So you want to make this disk group, let's say, add another 10 GB to make it 50 GB. So that's the scenario number one. And the scenario number two is once we have extended, let's say there is a requirement to set up the FRA or there is a requirement to create new databases in completely new disk group, then you can as create a new disk group and assign the disks to the new, you can create a new disk group and you can either create new databases or you whatever for purpose you want to use that. So these are the two things that we will be doing. So now that we have seen our environment, let's go ahead and let's do the first part where adding the new disk to the to the existing disk group. So let's do that first. So to do that first, we, we have to log in as a root and let's see what disk we have got. And I have already provisioned the disk from the back end. So I'll use the fdisk command. And here you can see that you we don't have the partition. We don't have the partition for E and F that is only up to D. So this this 10 GB disk is what I will be adding to this to make it 50 GB. And then in the second part, I will use this particular 20 GB disk, this 20 GB disk to make to create a new disk group. So let's first concentrate on this particular disk. So let's use the fdisk command give the name of the disk and new primary default 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 w that's done now if i run the fdisk command you will be able to see that we have a partition for this disk which is e1 we will use this e1 we'll use this to create the oracle asm disk so before creating the disk or marking that particular disk as ASM disk, let's see what we have got. And you can see that I only got ASM data one, which is which is what is assigned to this. So now what we will do is we will mark the this particular the disk that we just created E1. This partition we will mark it as the we'll mark it as the ASM disk. And to do that, we will use Oracle ASM create disk command and Oracle ASM create disk name of the disk or name of the disk header 
and here is the the partition that we just created so if i run this and now if i do the list disk you can see i had only one now i have got the second disk the work from the root user has been done let's go to the grid user and use the alter disk group command to add so here i'm saying this is the disk group name add disk and this is the name that we just gave here this particular name i'm giving it here and once i do that and now if i run the size query i should be able to see that now my disk is not 40 gb it's close to 50 gb and you can see 49.99 it rounds up but you can see from 40 gb now it is 49.99 which means we have added the 10 gb to this so using the alter disk group we were able to successfully resize or add the disk to the existing disk group so that's part number one so now that we have seen this let's go ahead and let's create a new disk group so that that is a requirement to create a new disk group so let's the first three steps again remain the same so you need to create the disk using create the disk partition using f disk then you need to mark that disk as asm disk and then you need to use the create disk group command so let's run all these commands one by one so first thing is we need to go as root and we need to check what so we have got this sdf which does not have a partition so i'll use the same f this command new p default 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 w that's done now if i run this you can see there is a partition for f disk as well now let's use the oracle asm create disk before doing that let's see the what are the oracle asm disks we got so we got two disks here i'm now i'm using the sdf1 creating disk as asm fra that's done list disk you can see we got asm fra so we got the third disk here and now it's time to go to the to the grid user and create the disk group using create disk group command that's done and now if i run the sizing query we should have now two disks in our system and you can see the existing disk which was 40 gb we made it 50 gb and we got a new disk called asmfra which is of 20 gb so with that we have successfully altered the disk group and we have also created the disk group i hope this particular tutorial was useful in this particular tutorial we learned how to create a new disk group or add a new disk to existing disk group in oracle asm environment again if you do like the video please hit the like button and if you do like the content that i'm uploading do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial bye bye